All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to one more video. Well, I've decided I've got enough experience now with my RedCat 51 Gen 2 using my ASI 294mm camera that it's time for me to start to programmatically rotate uh, the scope based upon the targets that I'm shooting. Up until now, uh, the RedCat 51 has a nice graduated um, uh, dial that you can rotate X number of degrees and uh, now that I'm fully in the uh, Nina camp and I want to apologize to all you ASI Air fans out there Nina was just a better fit for what my needs are today so the ASI Air in its current um, form could not meet my requirements I still think it's an excellent solution for people based upon what your needs are and where you want to take your equipment in the future if you stay within this hobby and for me unfortunately uh, the right approach was to go into Nina and Nina has a facility and equipment of a rotator and I've been using the manual rotator setting uh, up until now and now I want to use an automatic rotator and uh, several reasons for doing that. Um, sometimes I want to catch a target. Uh, this may not be the best target to, uh, to consider, but if we go quickly into the uh, Witch Head Nebula, um, and let me just bring that up real quick. Uh, NGC 1909, bring that up. set it for framing. Um, as you can see down here in its transit uh, display, uh, there's a takes a while during the night before it's up around 30 degrees. So I have this distance here uh, from dark fall until it reaches a 30 degree altitude. And I want to make use of that time. And that target that I might be shooting to get the right orientation now that I'm using the 294 on the Red Cat 51, it's a rectangular uh, sensor. Um, I may need to rotate it to get proper framing. And then when I move on to this target, I may need to rotate it again because maybe I want something uh, something like, like this uh, where my first target needed to be framed like that. And so I don't want to be having to uh, be available when these target changes happen uh, to do the rotation. So that's kind of uh, the long and the short of it. And uh, what I've decided to purchase is the Wanderer Rotator Mini V2. Um, they say it's an ultra lightweight and low profile. And here's a few. We can kind of step through a few of the um, images of what it looks like. And um, so this is appropriately sized for my Red Cat 51. I became aware of this product by uh, a fellow member of Astro Vag Vagabond and Friends uh, Facebook group. He's also uh, uh, vice president of the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society. He's a great resource, again, if you're new to the hobby, and even if you're not new, belonging to a club uh, can provide tremendous value. So um, uh, I want to thank him for giving me his thoughts. He actually uses the product. I think he uses the Wanderer Rotator Lite. Uh, this is, I think, a newer version of it. So I've decided to add this. I've uh, placed my order with AliExpress or Ali, yeah, AliExpress. It's uh, $444. I looked at some of the other rotators, uh, in particular Pegasus Astro. Um, maybe I'm taking a little risk here, but I also did my research on cloudy nights. And uh, what I saw mostly was all positive. Uh, people that purchased these earlier on, maybe in 2021, 22, uh, Wanderer was still working on their software and uh, making improvements, adding functionality, and I'm comfortable enough right now for 
four hundred and forty four dollars and I think with taxes uh, four hundred eighty seven dollars uh, I'm comfortable taking a chance it's always you know you know uh, everyone has to make their own decision on how much uh, how comfortable what their risk tolerance level may be and uh, I'm comfortable with it especially with uh, what I'm uh, getting as far as uh, feedback from actual users of the product so anyway um, adding this to my Red Cat 51 imaging train. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, eventually in 2024, I'm going to be making some changes to my Edge HD8 uh, image train. I'm going to do a separate video on that. I'm working on my hardware roadmap for 2024 for that uh, scope configuration. So you may want to hit the notification bell if you're interested in, uh, in a rotation uh, solution for the Edge HD8. I'm also going to be adding a uh, low profile uh, micro focuser so I can take advantage of the Edge HD's feature of being able to lock the mirrors uh, to reduce the impact of mirror flop. But more on that in a separate video. So if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And I like to uh, provide this information to the viewers in case you have an interest and you are looking maybe for a solution for your Red Cat 51 to rotate uh, programmatically or automatically or while you're sleeping uh, then you know at least for uh, my channel you're going to be getting some information around the Wanderer uh, Astro uh, Mini V2. Alright, um, hope you're looking forward to good weather come this new moon in January. Otherwise, see you next time and thank you for dropping into the channel. Clear skies.